Hello, this is David Wormsey. It seems like an age since I've done a video. Been quite busy recently, so this one's not gonna be a taxing how-to video. It's just here to let you know about this newish website that I've set up, which is a live demo site, which features the free add-ons for Beaver Builder that are out there, and there's a ton of them at the moment. So we've been busy add in some of those and trying to get some examples in here and uh, if you're not familiar with my videos what you'll need to do is to go to the link that's below it'll take you to free.beaverjunction.com you need to come over to here answer this simple capture press try demo give it a moment and it will recreate this site and you'll have a new copy where you'll be logged in and you can try out for yourself and play around with some of the examples we got there or any of the sort of module packs that are included here. So I'm not a big user of modules myself. Um, my wife who set up some of these examples here has now really started to get into using Power Pack and Ultimate add-ons for Beaver Builder, which you might be aware of if you're in the Beaver Builder community. And and these both have got light versions here on their freebies so you can try out there so there's the one by brainstorm ultimate add-ons for beaver build up light and they've also got some standalone plugins and more are coming so i'm going to need to add to there and we've got a power pack as well and i'll just mention now that uh, i haven't got any templates featured on this site and I think I will add these as also free templates as well because talking of power pack the guys over there on their blog so their beaver add-ons power pack they on their blog they've been doing these Friday freebies uh, where they've been given templates which will work just on ordinary beaver builder so they're great to pick up and I think I'm going to start adding a few of those as well to here so I can just test them out for myself and you can look at them as well so that's that what I'm going to do is I'll come back to these I'm first just going to talk about a pack that I particularly like this is one and unfortunately I've just stuck it under others I'm sure my navigation will change as I sort this out but uh, there are these two examples here, video one and a Google map one, which comes from a guy called Doug Bell Chamber. Uh, he's a fellow Brit, a fantastic name, uh, Doug Bell Chamber. He sounds like he's a Downton Abbey character. I don't know if he's upstairs or downstairs, but he's a developer, so we'll assume he's obviously downstairs. Um, and he has a blog as well, which is definitely worth checking out. Let me just find that um here we go so wp developers and he's been really publishing some fantastic stuff on beaver builder things that you can do yourself if you've got a bit of a bent towards the developer stuff like playing around with some css and stuff like that and actually i came across him because he took a little idea that i did a video on um and i'll go to the example there let me just find the one uh here we go so this is the one on videos that we've got here and he took this example from a video I did where I was looking into a way that someone else showed me of being able to pull forward the thumbnail for a video and only load that when your page loads so instead of loading all of the files extraneous files that go with YouTube you could just load the image or the thumbnail that goes with that and only on click will it load all those extra files so it speeds up particularly if you've got a lot of videos your website load um, because you're not loading what's not going to be used by the user then and he's ran away with this one and turned it into a fantastic plugin which i'm going to use on absolutely everything he's extended it so it works with vimeo as well i think and some other videos and it's just really a case of makes it so much easier just to add it in your url and here you can set the thumbnail quality which is going to change it and you can also change the kind of icon that you're going to show on the on the front here and add a little bit of styling to it as well which is fantastic so that's definitely worth checking out it's one i'm going to use i love things about efficiency and speed and he also followed this one up with another idea i was thinking of and never got anywhere with i started to experiment with it but he's done it beautifully and that's this one with the Google static map here. So another issue, the same as when we load up videos, is that in order to do that, it has to serve up a ton of files and really slows down your page load. Now in most cases, all that would be needed is a static image and, and something to click through to take you to the actual Google map itself. And that's what he's done here. He's 
automated this system for us. So you just need to put in your address, so my home address in London, at a zoom level. You can set the squares or horizontal, rectangle or vertical, and you can set to add in some markers of your own, which I've just added two markers here. And, and that's it, click save, and you've got then a image instead of loading all of those files and then that will take somebody to the google map there is one extra step in this one because you do have to go over to the beaver builder settings where he's added this and you'll need to put in these api keys for this but you just need to actually click on this or read this article but just click on this page and it's really easy to set up and do that so these are fantastic they definitely uh well, and everybody ought to be following doug that's what i say so that's that let's go on to the other modules now so i've mentioned uh, j7's modules here and this is his page there's links on my page here and uh he's got a lot of modules at the moment the one that's really really popular of his which i featured twice in the video which is, is his header and footer templates which allows you to replace the normal headers and footers in the beaver builder theme with some save templates so you can create your own headers and footers um some of his other plugins at the moment have just gone through some upgrades and he's still got to sort out some of those so i've removed them from my main site at the moment so there's only the shape borders uh one of his which is this one that creates these kind of effects which again i've featured in another video so let's go over to uh let's do them in order so power pack came out first so theirs is available on the repository i've set up some of these they've also got that that row effect and some other gradient effects which are, are not listed over here so these are the main effects i'm not going to go and, and click into all of this because that will just bore you but you can get this from the repository and as you can see here it lists all of the things that are available and I think in some more stuff has been added. I don't think business hours was added to the freebie pack before. Uh, fancy headings. Uh, yeah, so I've still got to catch up uh, with some of the stuff here. So quite a lot of stuff there, all for free. How fantastic is that? So that's easy to load and install. Obviously, they want you to buy the full pack. So that's why they do it as a way to ease you into that. But if you want to try out the full pack, you can just go to this page actually down the bottom here and click here and I've got a live demo version of that so you can try that out um, and that's great. So the same kind of thing over here with the ultimate add-ons for Beaver Builder Lite. There's an awful lot of stuff. I don't think we've covered all of the stuff here. A lot of great fancy stuff on there. Some unique stuff that you won't find in Power Pack and there again over at the repository and they've got a long list of the of the things that we've got here we've got a ribbon effect uh, simple quite a lot of stuff so again that's another one where you can try this one out it, it's got a button module in here so if you're somebody who's using the beaver builder light which doesn't have a button and it's much easier with your websites if you do have a button you could just download this and add it with your beaver builder light if you don't want to spend any money but you know spend some money come on buy beaver builder the full one because it's so fantastic you ought to do that okay so uh, and again with this one let me go back to the site there if you want to try out the full version of this one i've got an ultimate add-ons for beaver builder live demo as well so you can just go to this link and click there try that out right last one i think now and this one if you're new to the beaver builder community you could have easily missed this one uh, because it was one of the first ones that came out as a little pack and I'm going to go to the site itself so this one CB custom modules it is also available on the repository but I'm going to go to a Brian Cord's own page where he set up some examples here so you can try them out yourself <laughs> only one difficulty with this one I found it's also on github as you can see is that is called them all these kind of strange names so um yeah there's actually all the names which is uh scout dust poise shade spotlight broadside and slice and when you're in your beaver builder page builder uh, and trying to drag out modules it's really really difficult to know what they are so this is one that i've seen used quite a lot here now there are different versions of this 
I'll go, go through them here, but I can show you on mine. So I've had to put them on separate pages because you can't have two of the effects on one page. So if I go over here, here we are. This is dust and the one we were looking at before on this page was neural. But if you wanted some sort of Christmassy effect like this, that's what that looks like. And it responds, the mouse moves away the snow like this. Uh, but there's some really uh, nice ones in there. I can't remember. Let's just go back over to here. This one is a thing that allows you to sort of jump around on an individual page. So if you wanted that kind of one page navigation thing, you can set it uh, to link to different areas. And if you go into my site, you'll probably be able to work out quite easily how it's been set up by trying the module itself. Okay, right, that's enough for me. I shall be back again with probably a more how-to hands-on video. hope this was useful to somebody and I will catch you next time. So if you like this, then please then give me a like. If you didn't like it, then please tell me why and hope to see you soon. Bye.